Hey guys, my name is Yolanda Freeman and I'm coming to you to share my testimony. My testimony of how I received impartation from my spiritual mother, Apostle Catherine Crick, and how I began seeing God heal and deliver and set people free from that impartation in my ministry. So prior to pastoring, we had been having some experiences here and there with demonic spirits. And so when we actually began pastoring our very first church, we had had some additional bouts with the demonic spirits and, you know, how they were operating. So back in 2006, our very first pastoral assignment, we began having even more bouts with demonic spirits. So I knew that deliverance was a part of the ministry. But deliverance was rare, you know, deliverance wasn't something that you just see every day. You know, we, we didn't see it every Sunday. We didn't see it every day. It was, it was very rare. Deliverance wasn't taught in the church that I was raised in and that I eventually was trained in in ministry. I always had a passion for deliverance. I always had a passion for seeing people set free. And I frequently would wonder why we as Christians and why we as believers couldn't come together to see my sister set free. You see, my sister had been demonically attacked with this spirit called spinal meningitis. It left her with a speech and a hearing impediment. Okay. And so I just wonder, why can't we just trust God? Why can't we believe God to see her free? You know, we hear, we go to church and we hear that God is a healer, he's a deliverer, Ever, but you know, we never saw it. I never saw any of that. So as I begin to seek God, begin to surrender to him. I wanted more of him. And I wanted to learn even more. I wanted to learn even greater of what it was in deliverance, how deliverance worked. I wanted to learn all the ins and outs of deliverance because remember, I knew that this was something, even from a little girl, I was always intrigued with deliverance. Now I know that God was putting that there. It was there for such a time as this. So one day I was watching Isaiah Salvador. I think I'm saying it correctly. But I was watching him and, and I've been watching him for a little minute. And so one day there was a guest, guest on his channel. And the guest was Apostle Catherine Crean that began showing a video reel of her doing healing and deliverance and seeing people set free. I remember wailing and wailing and wailing and wailing just Woo, just wailing from my gut, just wailing, wailing, wailing. My spirit man knew this was God, I knew this was God speaking to me. And he was saying, this is it. This is what my soul, this is what my spirit had been in search for. This was a true anointed vessel of God. And as I began been watching, everything just started lining up. It just started lining up. There were so many prophetic signs that God was giving me to confirm this is him. <laughs> I knew it was him. This was exactly where he wanted me to be. So in January 2021, I took my vacation money that I had been saving to go on a much needed vacation. I took that money and I drove, me and God, we drove to Louisville, Kentucky. Yes. <laughs> Can you say hungry for more of God? There were so many confirmations on the drive up during the three day service of revival is now so many more confirmations. There were confirmations my entire stay. So oh from God. those three services, I received impartation through Apostle Catherine Creek. She never laid hands on me. Never, never touched me. Never. But the anointing was released and I received it. I didn't feel this big power surge, any of that. No shaking, no electricity. I felt none of that. But I received because I believed and I received. Hallelujah. After I returned back home, about two weeks later while I was at work, I felt a nudging by the Holy Spirit. As one of my clients began to share some things that she was going through, she began sharing some situations, some, some things that I knew were demonic spirits that were, that were at work. And she began sharing these things. And so I asked her, you know, can I pray for you? Did a simple prayer with her, release the anointing to her, and instantly we were both in amazement. <laughs> both of us. Oh, my God. So God healed her of anxiety in her one sleep. The, one of the biggest things that she noticed was that God had healed her eyes. Okay. I think she shares on the video that she had went and got glasses two weeks prior. She took her glasses off 
and she began looking around and she was like, oh my gosh, I can see. I can see. Like, it was like a newborn child. I can see. You see this piece of paper right here on the wall? She could read the words on that piece of paper. Now, can I say to you, those words on that piece of paper are very small and very tiny. She began reading the words that said Board of Cosmetology. But God had instantly healed her eyes. Can you say 2020 vision? Oh my gosh. Not only that, he healed her some other things, like the anxiety. She she even felt that coming up in her chest. And all of a sudden she said she just felt it leave. She felt it just go. Then to top it all off, she surrendered her life back to God. And she said that I will be a vessel of God until the day I die. <laughs> From that initial impartation, another healing and deliverance that God did um, in this ministry was he healed this young lady's back. <laughs> you know, back. She had failed and broke her back. And we were we, right here in the salon. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right here is where these miracles took place right here. And so actually standing right about here, you know, we were, we were standing here and we were talking and all of a sudden this big smile come upon her face. I noticed that she had been shifted from one leg to the so next. I was like, well, what is the smile about? We was talking about the kingdom of God and how the kingdom of God is here now, right now. And she was sharing how God had been revealing to her and, and showing her, you know, things that we had been teaching and how the kingdom of God is here and now. God was you giving know? a revelation. Eyes were coming open and just, you know, reiterating on some things. The, the anointing was going forth, being spoken for. God healed her back. She said she felt it in her back. So things that she couldn't do prior to coming in that day, she was able to do. Also, there was a gentleman, it was an older gentleman, you know, he had... I've been diagnosed with uh, an aggressive type of prostate cancer. Oh, I think his Gleason score was like a 10, which is the highest. And so the doctor said, it's not many times I put my patients on this type of aggressive treatment only to come back and tell them there is no cancer in your body. <laughs> Hallelujah. So many more, so many more. But this is just another one I want to highlight. There was another gentleman, and I call him the, the man with the issue of blood. You know, in the Bible, there's a woman with the issue of blood. I call him the man with the issue of blood. God had sent me, sent us there to his home. He just began to share some things. We didn't say anything. Oh, my gosh. See the power of God. We didn't say anything. God didn't tell me to pray. God didn't tell me to lay hands, to do none of that. He said, go. We went. He began confessing is really what he was doing. And I ran to the, the little girl's room in the house, came back out. We left. You know, we left. The following Sunday, I asked him how was things going because he, he had been hemorrhaging. There were, there were massive amounts of blood that where he was hemorrhaging. And as he said, when y'all left, the problem left. Hallelujah. God healed him of that blood issue completely. I didn't touch him. I didn't pray for him. None of that. Hallelujah. God is so amazing. And that's just when a minute God healed this lady a bone on bone in her oh, knee. They were thinking about doing injections or surgery. He healed God. that knee. One lady had degenerate bone disease going on in her leg. God healed her. She got up and cooked breakfast. Remind me of Peter's mother-in-law where she had been sick and then God healed and touched and she got up and started serving people. And so many more, so many more testimonies have come about from that initial impartation. So ever since then, which is about two, two and a half years, I've been planted at 5F Church in California, where the lead pastor is my spiritual mother, Apostle Catherine Creek. I give God all praise because all praise belongs to him. And I honor and I bless the true vessel of God. Please go to Yolanda Freeman Ministries and you can check out many of the healings and the things that God has been doing in this ministry. And I know I haven't seen nothing yet because the power of God is here. My, my hashtag is miracles at the salon. Miracles upon miracles upon miracles have been released right here at this salon. This salon is an altar. It serves as an altar to God. A place where God can do whatever he wants to do. The kingdom of God is not only here. The kingdom of God lives on the inside of us. So wherever we go, revival is here. And revival is now.